While the fans are out here at the stadium at the Silver Lake, Eastleigh players have come out and are applauding those fans. And Matt, it's just great to hear some noise in the ground, isn't it? Oh, it's brilliant. I mean, been here this season, it's hearing that false noise. It's so nice to actually hear some real cheers from the Eastleigh faithful here today. Now we're ready to get underway. Forward comes to Shimanga. Would still have possession level with the edge of the Eastley penalty area. A good block from Tomlinson. And then House now has the chance to break. There you go. You hear the roar of the crowd. He plays it to Tyrone Barnett. He's got Michael Green on the left-hand side. There are men in the middle now for the Spitfires. Goes low into the box. And it was cleared well by the Wood in the end. Miley can't quite bring the ball down, and now it's a chance for Boren Wood to come up the other end. To Shimanga, he has a shot on goal, and it just goes wide. Well, after a very good break for Meesley, it was dangerous there. If you don't want it to fall to any man to have a shot in the box, it's that one right there. He had a chance, but thankfully for McDonnell, it's past his far post. Fifield. Shot. It hits the bar. That could have gone in. It looks like one of those where it was uh, on the line. Wow. That's towards the penalty area, but that is rather harmless. And so here's Michael Green now. Plays it infield to Hollands. Hollands gives it back. Payne now to Miley. Plays it to Partington. Tomlinson in front of him in space now. Low cross into the box. Tyler Barnett at the back post. Great save from Ashmore. Well, Great ball. Definitely is his best chance of the game there. Great bit of play. Water ball through Tomlinson right across everyone and Barnett at the back post. Under away by Pierce Bird. Good interception by Jack Payne, but Boreham would maintain possession. Whiteley plays it into the area now. Good save by McDonald down low and cleared away by Danny Hollands. Just over five minutes of normal time remaining in this second half. Whiteley goes down again. Smart driving towards the byline. Cuts it back. Oh, oh, what a save from Ashdown. What a save from Ashdown that is. Eastley with a free kick. My word. Well, we talked about the impact of Sam Smart. He's come on there. Gone past his man, Whiteley. Into the box, low and hard. He's got a great touch on it. I thought that was going in, to be honest. Even with the save, I thought it was still going into the corner. What a save what that is. Great save from Ashmore. Called him Ash down then. He got down well. Yeah. Ashmore. <laughs> and it's Tomlinson and Payne stood over the ball. Boy, they really need something now, Eastleigh. Really do. Could be a perfect time to do it as well. Got to make this free kick count. Jack Payne, Joe Tomlinson. <laughs> Two nominated parties. It's going to be Jack Payne who takes this free kick, and it's another great save from Ashmore. Well, what a free kick. Payne puts it right in the top corner. But Ashmore gets over. It's a great save once again. His team really relying on him at the moment. His Payne delivery into the box. Easily pushing now. His smart plays it to Partington. He's got a little bit of room. Early crossing towards the area. It's going to be another corner, I think. That's going to be a goal kick. Miley. Shot from Tomlinson from distance. Ashdown spilt it. Goal for oh. Eastley. It's Pierce Bird. No, it's offside. I thought that was the moment. The offside flag is up. Well, unfortunately, we don't get to see enough of it in the replay. I thought Pierce Bird was going to be the hero. The Lino has given offside. 
Good challenge that by Jack Payne. Needed to put that challenge in. Partington picks up the ball. You can hear the roar of the Silver Lake crowd now as Partington lays it to Sam Smart. Smart gets past Whiteley. Just the delivery into the box to come. Handball. Kill appeals. Penalty. Oh there. my God. A penalty has been given in the final moment of this oh. game. Whoa. Wow. What a finish to this match. Well, I was at half time. My excitement levels have just changed to penalty at the end for Eastley. And who is going to step up but Joe Tomlinson, currently with a 100% record from the spot, could really keep Eastley's dreams of a playoff place alive. Tomlinson steps up, scores! And what a finish for Joe Tomlinson with the penalty! And Eastley take a giant leap to the playoffs! This place is absolutely bouncing now. Look at those scenes as Tomlinson put that penalty in. The EC players all running to the corner. Well, he steps up, has a bit of a stutter. Ashmore dives the wrong way and Tomlinson places it to the keeper's left. And right at the death here, EC may have just taken all three points and taken a massive step towards the playoffs. As it stands, Eastley in eighth because Chesterfield have just scored a, a late goal. But level on points with Halifax. And Eastley have the game again. The referee that's it. blows his whistle. And what a win for the Spitfires. Joe Tomlinson with ice in his veins to put that penalty away. The drama of Pierce Bird's disallowed goal. And Matt, what did you make of that performance? Oh, well, I was, we were talking at half-time thinking how the game needed an injection. And you look there at the celebrations with Joe Tomlinson. Tyro Barnett runs onto the field to just oh. embrace Joe Tomlinson. The players going around the pitch, applauding the Spitfires faithful. And boy, did they play their part today. Absolutely. I mean, the fans, what, what a moment and what a game to come back for. Well, Matt, I'm going to say that was my highlight of the season here at home. <laughs> it's been a pleasure commentating with you for this season. It's been a pleasure commentating for you fans at home. And let's just hope the Spitfires can push on now and get into those playoffs and finish the job.